Hey, Callie, how you doing? I've got your work up right here. Here's what I have in my project so far. Testing information is not finished, but I will update this tomorrow with my testing included. Any feedback is appreciated. Yes, absolutely. I want to give you ample feedback, and I think these are the same. Oh, wait, they're not the same. Oh, oh, I see. You've got your process book. Okay, let's start with the process book. So um, I don't recommend this typeface. It's really, really, really difficult to read. As a matter of fact, um, typically we don't use a decorative um, typeface uh, for, for body copy. Just too difficult to read. I, I don't recommend that. I would change that typeface there. But you got Earthling. I would also include a cover, create a cover for this. Uh, target audience. Try to get that defined as, as really as detailed as you possibly can. Main features of the app, possible features of the app. Um, also, you want to get in there and really take a look at what is due here. You want to set this up, all right? You want to include your background information, all of your research information. Um, competitors here. Right here, we, you just have competitors, but we don't have. You want to give a comparative, a comparative competitive analysis where you're showing the competition. You're also uh, analyzing the competition based on functional of, 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 of the pros and cons of the functionality and features of the app, the visual design of the app, and the, and the overall usability of the app. And then also include images of your competition. Now, um, there's so many great examples that I've posted in the announcements and in the course materials of completed process books indicating, you know, good pages for all of these, these different requirements. So I highly, highly recommend you get in there and really, really take a look at those. Because listen, I'm going to be really honest with you right now. We're a little bit underdeveloped here. So you've got your personas and scenarios, but we don't have, these aren't personas or these are just basic storyboards. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is, is you want to establish your personas first, okay? Your, but before you establish your personas, you're going to have to establish your target market to a high degree. Then you take the basic demographics from your target market and you develop a persona. The persona should be extremely, extremely detailed. Three personas. Each persona should have a scenario and a storyboard associated with it. Again, take a look at some of the examples. The treehouse example doesn't have storyboards, but the examples in the course announcements do. So you definitely want to take a look at those scenarios and storyboards. That's a really important part of what we call empathy, and it's a, it's one of the most important stages in all of design thinking. So we really want to show that. Um, Okay, so this is what to do next week. The first, the, okay, so this is all the stuff that's due. You want to take a screenshot of that. This is in the course announcements, um, but this is what is, is due for the process book, okay? Note that the uh, items in asterisk are um, optional but highly recommended. Okay, so these this is a minimum. This is a minimum of what I'm looking for in the process book. So all of this needs to be included. Also, we need to include your clickable prototype. I don't see any... Uh, mock-up pages or I don't see any clickable um, XD files or even uh, interactive PDFs uh, or, or, you know, created a clickable prototype in uh, Adobe InDesign and exporting the PDF. That's demonstrated in the course announcements right here in this click-through prototype example. So we, we got, we've got to get all that stuff in place, okay? Um, we're coming down to it, Callie. We're really coming down to it here. Um, this is due this week. We start our group project next week. So uh, in a perfect world, everybody will have this complete and submitted so that we can concentrate and put our efforts towards the group project. So I think we have a lot of work to do here. Um, uh, we need the complete full user prototype. We need all our testing sessions also. So again, I, I, I think that we're, we're running a little bit behind here and I, I don't wanna do that. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this completed. Listen, Kelly, if you have any questions at all, if you're not understanding anything, please let me know. I'm, right here i'm more than happy to help you so let me know keep me posted on, on this okay but um again we've got a lot of stuff that we need to get submitted here and not a very long time to do it so again questions if you need help at all please get with me all right thank you very much kelly